Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, that Resar Guy, back to you with another video. I'm filming this on Monday, but I think I'm going to release it on Tuesday because I put out a video on Friday that talked about some comics that I picked up. So I'm going to give that one a little bit of time today to get some views, and then we'll get into this video tomorrow for y'all. But uh, like I said, huh? it's Monday, so we have the weekend worth of sales. Let's get going. All right, so this isn't gonna be just a sales video. I'm gonna have a little bit of a haul of stuff around here as well. There's stuff here and here, and I don't know, there's a little stuff everywhere. This room is, it's a little disorganized at the moment. Not terrible, not as bad as it is sometimes. Uh, but I had an okay week in the sales. It was like another uh, $600 sales weekend, which is kind of where I've been lately. Uh, I always like that $1,000 mark. That's always the mark for the weekend I'm trying to get to. Haven't hit it much lately, but uh, 12 orders, that's it, 12 orders for about 600 bucks. Uh, but yeah, I sold some cool stuff today, so uh, some different stuff. I did sell a few cards, of course, but uh, some other thrifted goods, some sports collectibles and other stuff. Uh, so I'll show that all to you here. Let's show the uh, sports cards and little things first. Uh, first up, I sold another one of these little bat knob decals. Yeah, this little Houston Astros number 20, 26. Uh, who is I forget the player's name that this is. This is Trey Mancini. Yeah, this was his bat knob decal. Normally I sell these for like $10 if I don't have it attached to a certain player. This one actually did come off of one of his bats. Uh, this one sold for $20. Yeah, just that little sticker, a little bat knob decal, 20 bucks plus another dollar for shipping on that. Uh, I sold some cards, uh, let's see, some of these are fairly cheap. Uh, Rick Nash, hockey player, autograph card, this one here. Uh, I think I had that for 10 bucks. I sent a, I'm always sending out 10% off offers for pretty much anything in my store. Uh, yeah, I send them out at least once a day, not twice. Sometimes I'll do it in the morning. Sometimes I'll do it again at night. If I'm really bored, I'll go look during the day and send out maybe some bigger ones, uh, items that have been in my store for a while. I'll sell, send 20, 25% offers on those. And you know, sometimes they buy them, sometimes they don't. But this one they did, 10% off, Rick Nash autograph, going out eBay standard envelope, charge just a dollar for shipping on that. Uh, another little insert card here. This is Madison Bumgardner. Uh, oh, there it is. Nice and shiny right there. This is a refractor card. It is serial numbered up at the top out of like a 199 Sold for a weird number. It was on sale, I don't know, $7.19. Something with a discount. Uh, football season starting. We had my first fantasy football draft over the weekend on Saturday. I might do a little video of my That Card Guy channel just for fun, just for me to uh, talk about that. I got a couple more drafts coming up on Thursday night. So yeah, it's football crazy going on around here anyway. Next card. Can you see way back here? There's no glare if I hold it way back here. Let's see if I get closer. If it hold, oh, see, look right there. Boom, some glare. And then I got tilted a little more. Chris Olave. Uh, from the Saints, yeah, this card here. It's just a jersey card, rookie year card, with a big swatch of jersey here. This one sold for a little bit more than those other cards, <laughs> whatever that total is. Let me scroll up. $12.99. But yeah, it can still go out eBay standard envelope. It is a little thicker than the other cards, but it'll still be fine. And the best card that I sold this weekend, I actually found this out of a dime box just last weekend. Yeah, I paid just a dime for this card. Uh, really great card. Joe Dumar. See if I can get it with the lightning just right. Oh, no. Maybe the pop-up is going to show better. Can never get these cards in here, right? Because I got light coming from here. I got light coming from behind the camera. Messes it all up. So we'll hold it way back here. Joe Dumar's card. It is really cool. Here's the pop-up. Boom. Yeah, it was like $22.49 after offer. I had it for $25. Sent 10% off. Uh, got twenty two forty nine, I think. So yeah, bought it for a dime, sold it for over 20 I wish I could get more clips like this, but yeah, I knew this card was going to be pretty good when I got it. Uh, this one will have to go out in a bubble mailer since it's over 20 bucks. That was it for the sports cards. Four cards, one of those knob decal stickers, and those knob decals uh, is a consignment item that I'm splitting with a friend of mine. So sold for 20 after fees, we'll each get about 9 bucks. So still still pretty good little sale on that. Did sell an autograph photo. This is Nick, Nikolai Hoppybullen. Played for the uh, Coyotes and a bunch of other teams. I think he's in his uh, Black Hawks jersey on this one. No COA on this. He was a really good signer when he was here. So I have a lot of his autograph stuff. Uh, and it's not really worth getting authentication. If you spend $10 for the authentication, I probably wouldn't recoup that $10 uh, by selling it for more. So I just guarantee the autographs that I sell like this if someone wants to go ahead and get it authenticated. Uh, I think this one also sold at 10% off. So I think it sold for $8.99. Originally I had it at $10. Bought it for $2 at the little local sports auction. Oh, what else is back here? I'm going to have to just go with kind of an order of what's in the way. I sold another little lot of my Linkables toys. I, I've sold another one. 
I, at the end of the year, I'll have to calculate how many sets of these I sold. This guy is like, wait, even I don't ship the batteries in them. These take like three to four double A batteries. So for this set of one, two, three, we got the koala, and then we got the little ones back here. We got the, the moose and the beaver. Yeah, even these take like three batteries a piece. Uh, but that set sold for 60 bucks. So you got five of them, sells for 60. It fits perfectly into a 12 by 12 by 12 box. I've shipped dozens of these over the last few years. And I'm picking these up anywhere from, my goal is under $5 a piece. Most of them are about $3 to $4 for the bigger ones. And some of these little ones I picked up for as low as a dollar a piece. So I'm trying to get, have my cost between 10 and 12 bucks and I'm selling it for 60, 59.99 plus shipping. Uh, so yeah, that was really good. I have another set that's pretty much ready to go and I gotta get that one listed because I only keep one listed at a time. I don't wanna flood the market with listings out there for four and five of these. I just wanna have my good one out there. Like I said, I've sold tons of these. Now I will warn you on these linkables, if you do try to sell one of these lots, if you start finding them in the stores, check them because the paint does chip on them quite a bit. And there's several that, several that I haven't sold because like here on this guy, like his nose can get really chipped up. Like that one's actually pretty good for a used one. There's a slight chipping on the tip of his nose. Like this one here along this edge that these buttons, the paint comes off them really bad. So I'm definitely picky with the ones that I get, make sure that they still pretty much look like they're in really good condition and not abused like a lot of them are. The next few items all sold through sale. I have a 25% off sale going. I picked like a hundred items that have been in my store for a while. Just items that I just want gone. And I put them on sale, slowly selling them. Uh, next up is this. It's the Wet Set by Intex. This is an inflatable uh, pool raft, but they call it an action mat. I've never called a pool raft or a pool float an action mat. 72 by 30 brand new with the tags. It still has the original, whatever store that they bought it at. It still has that tag on there. But yeah, you guys want to check out the little bikini girl. That's fine. She's right there. She's, this is like from the 90s, I think. Uh, had it in my store for 20 bucks. Sold it 20% off, $14.99. I think I still have one or two more rafts in there. I haven't found a vintage pool raft like that in a long time. The price has gone down on them quite a bit. Uh, these used to sell for quite a bit more. I probably wouldn't pick them up in again unless it's something pretty unique now i did like the little colorway of this one so that made it a little different than a lot of the other ones too so either way i'm babbling now it's over 15 bucks all right next i sold another bts yeah the korean pop band can't really see any of the printing on this but maybe if i hold it up here you can see it says love yourself love yourself uh, they did four different versions of this cd s-e-l-f or self and uh this is the, I think the E, not that it really matters. Uh, uh, I have one more of them left. I think uh, one more to go sold for 11.24. I think I had it for like 15 or 16 bucks in my store. That'll ship out media mail, it's, uh, it's CD. So it's a little two CD set with a little book in there. Big part of the big BTS collection that I bought that I'm in the profit on, but trust me, it was not the home run that I thought it was gonna be. I thought I was gonna maybe triple my money on that, but uh, but yeah, I'm barely in the profit. I still have a lot of inventory from that. That's part of the reason. All right, next up, I sold my last pair of wrestling pants. You're like, Mike, I didn't even know you sold wrestling pants. Yeah, I've sold a bunch of these. They got like the little stirrups down at the bottom, and I'll show you the, the brand name just in case you ever happened to come across this stuff. This brand is really good, and you can see the tag right there. It's K&H Originals is the name. I had the stuff sitting in the garage for several years before I ever listed it. Uh, I did not realize it was as good as it was. I bought it at a little local auction. They had a bunch of vintage sports and collectibles items, and this was part of the lot. I just thought it was wrestling gear that was going to be fairly cheap. Finally, one day I was really bored. I said, I need to either get rid of this stuff or get it listed. I did the research and I was blown away. So uh, I had three pairs of pants, several pairs of just like the little, I'll call them little underwear or shorts, uh, a bunch of stuff like that. And they all sold for about a hundred bucks a piece. Some sold for like 130, which was what I originally had them listed at. Uh, this pair was on sale. Uh, $87 was the sale price, but I had somebody offer me 80 plus the shipping. So since it was my last pair, uh, yeah, I figured I'd go ahead and get it sold. $80 for this pair. Now, I don't remember what I paid for that exact lot. I think it was under $10 and it had, like I said, five pairs of the pants and the shorts and it even had some masks that I sold. So that ended up being a home run lot and it sat in the garage unlisted for years. Two more items to go. 
both sports items. We'll show you here first up. Box of baseball cards from Topps. Yeah, this old one here, this is 1987 Topps Baseball. These are what are called cello packs. Yeah, you can see the top card on each one of these. This sold for like $40, $39.99 plus shipping, I believe. Let me just scroll, just make sure the price is right on here. Uh, price is right, Bob Barker died. Man, I love the Price is Right back in the day. I watched that when I was a kid. Literally, you could have put that on nonstop and, I wa and, I'd, and I'd watch it all day long if it was possible. But back then, you got one episode. The next item actually just sold overnight and technically I don't have to ship it till tomorrow, but I'm including it with today's total because otherwise the total would be really, really bad for the weekend. Uh, this is a box of 1983 Donruss baseball, but you can see it's kind of funky. We got the packs here and we got these ones put, pulled this way. I actually shrink wrapped this myself. Uh, the reason why this is a box, like I said, a 1983 Donruss, I was checking it out the other day because I was going to list it and some of the packs looked like they were loose, like maybe they weren't sealed properly or maybe what happened a lot way back when is people would open the packs, look for the good cards, and try to reseal the packs. So I figured I'm going to open some of these packs and find out. Well, I think on like the sixth or seventh pack, I actually got the Tony Gwynn Rookie, which is one of the top cards you could get from this set. Uh, I showed it in the pictures you'll see in the pop-up. I showed the open pack. So I just included it. I'm including the seven open packs that I opened, plus the other packs that are still uh, sealed or not searched, uh, by me at least. Uh, what did I get? I got $179.99. Now this box probably should have been like $250, maybe even a little more if it was in good condition. You can tell that the top lid is also missing from the box. So I paid like $150 for this. I'm really not making any money. I'm just kind of getting my money back. I was hoping to make a little bit on it, but you know, with the whole pack situation and having to open them and thinking that they might have been searched, kind of kind of blew it for me. So either way, I'm at least getting my money back out of this. All right, yeah, so that's it for the sales part. 600 bucks, 12 items, not an exciting weekend in the sales, but I did sell some higher dollar items, so at least that was good. Cleared out a few old inventory items that were on sale that I just wanted gone. And of course, sold some sports cards. Now, uh, this weekend we had a, one of our little sports auctions or collectible auctions here locally, so I bought some stuff from that. That was just uh, yesterday. Plus I picked up a few items from Whatnot and some other stuff. So let me show you some stuff that's sitting around here uh, and some cool stuff. First up, I picked up a couple hats. Yeah, these are really nice vintage Diamondbacks hats. So look at this. Boom! New with tags, new old stock. Logo athletic. That's what you like to see. And look at this. 1998 inaugural season Arizona Diamondbacks snapback hat nice clean crispy now i did have to pay up a little bit for it i bought it off of whatnot and i believe the bit i won it at was like 16 dollars plus the shipping and everything so i paid about 20 dollars for the hat i listed it for 80. there's one other seller out there that has new ones they're doing a hundred free shipping for theirs and they had multiples and they've sold a couple of them so mine's going to be just a little bit cheaper than theirs and uh, hopefully i can get the next sale on ones but yeah that's a great hat it's I would probably wear it, but I can't see spending $80 for the hat. I love my Diamondbacks. They've been playing really well. You see, obviously, I got my Diamondbacks hat here. And I love these colors. I love the purple, the teal, all that. They need to go back to that more often. This hat I won for cheaper. This one I won for $5 off out of the sale. But you can still see it's also brand new with tags. Vintage the game snap back with this cool. It's got it's emboss. You can see it kind of sticks out the stitching there. Arizona Diamondbacks, another snap back with the teal there cool hat i think this one i listed at 50 bucks 50 or 60 dollars on that one a lot of a lot of views and watchers on that one already and uh, that one there so uh, cool diamondback hats got a bunch of stuff sitting up here i bought a bunch of bags of these at the auction now these are pokemon they're separated by set i don't really care i just use these for little boxes that i sell at my collectibles booth i put like 100 cards in each one of the little boxes that i do so there's probably this is probably almost 300 cards, so this will get me three lots. This one obviously has a lot more. This one's got more. Like I said, I bought a lot of these. Here's another one, and here, oh my god, I can't reach way over there, is this one here. So bought a bunch of Pokemon cards, so I am stocked up for a while. One, two, three, four, five, six. Was there any more over there? Nope. Six bags of these Pokemon cards, and uh, that'll stock me up for a while, making those little... I call them mystery boxes at the booth, but uh, yeah, I sell ones for ten dollars, and then I sell a bigger one that has like two hundred cards for twenty bucks. Put a couple foils on the top, give them a good little value, but yeah, those sell pretty well for me. Uh, just along with that, I bought a little box. You can see it says Yu-Gi-Oh on there, small little box at Yu-Gi-Oh. Paid a few dollars for that. I think I paid five dollars a bag for each of these, so I paid thirty dollars in these, 
And in the end, there'll be several hundred dollars worth of sales at my booth once I get them into the boxes. I don't take a lot there. I take two or three every time I go, kind of keep it stocked up. Now, I always say it's a sports auction, but they do sell some other stuff there as well. Just random stuff shows up. And I bought this. Now, normally I wouldn't buy something like this, but I have my collectibles booth out there. We are in Arizona, so I think this is pretty cool. So look, it is this Grand Canyon art print. Let me see if I can get it without the glare. It's got this cool coin up there. And I know it's not going to show up well on video, but you got this great coin up here. It is framed really well. This matting probably would cost you a ton if you were just to get this thing matted. It's got this cool little plaque, tells you a little bit about the Grand Canyon. And yeah, this is really cool. It almost looks like a watercolor type print. But yeah, this was professionally done. Uh, I bought it for $5 at that sale. Yeah, that's the only reason I bought it was because it was so cheap. Uh, I'll probably throw it in my booth for like 30. If someone were to have like an actual store and have this thing up for sale, it would probably be 80 or $100 just with how this is framed and matted and all this stuff. But uh, if I can buy it for five and flip it for 30, I'm happy with that. All right, another little stack of stuff. I bought a baseball card set, paid $5 for that. That'll be $20 in the booth. Another little set, I think I paid $3 for that. That'll probably be 15 or 20 in the booth. Bought a Chicago Cubs Monopoly game. This is brand new and sealed, but it does have a couple little rips in the shrink wrap, so I won't sell it on eBay. I won't sell it on Amazon. I think on there they're going for $35, $40 shipped. I'll put it in my booth for $25 since it has a little bit of uh, shrink wrap ripping. Oh, that was hard to say. Uh, probably like $25. So again, I'll probably, after fees and everything, I'll double my money. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool little pickup here. Cubs are very popular here as well. A uh, few of these little mini pennants. What did I get? I got the Brewers. We got the Bulls, but the Bulls has a little bit of, you can see it's a little faded right there. We got the Flyers and we got the Twins. I picked up the four of these for a buck and a quarter piece. I paid $5 for the four of those and they'll, they'll go for a couple bucks a piece in the booth. Then I don't know if you can see it back here. I'm gonna bring this helicopter around here. If you remember last week, I showed you some bags of knockoff Lego or just off-brand Lego items that are military. It was this one right here. This one actually had the instructions. I think Kobe was the name, C-O-B-I. This one here, this Huey helicopter. My wife and I assembled this. We took apart the pieces and everything, it was 100% complete until we got to the very last thing right here at the top. There's supposed to be another small little rotor. If you see in the picture, it's got this small little rotor right here at the top. That one wasn't in there. I'm hoping it's in one of the bags. Either way, I'll still sell it. I'll put that it's 99.9% .9 complete. It still looks pretty awesome, just like this if you're a military army guy. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Brand new, I think this set sells for like $60. So I'll probably put it out there for maybe like $30, $30 plus shipping and see if we can get the sale. All right, you can see I didn't go through everything. We got stuff down here. We got a lot of baseball card products down here, stuff that's going to go out to my booth. Got stuff back here. Got some baseballs. Got some sports card binders. Some other stuff that's kind of boring to show on here. Going, I bought some baseballs. I bought some binders. I'm going to sell them on eBay. Yeah, it's not the most exciting stuff to show. But yeah, that's the kind of stuff that I do sell uh, regularly, whether it be on eBay or my booth. And I think I'm going to wrap it up here. I got to get stuff done. got to get stuff packed up. Got a little bit of a busy day today uh, going on. It's... It's only 8.30 as I'm filming this, so uh, by the time I edit this video, I don't even have to edit it right now because I'm not going to send it out until tomorrow. This is what I do at the end of my videos. I like to ramble on and you guys go, Mike, just shut up and end the video, slide over, show us the flag, you're done, say thank you, hit subscribe and all that stuff, so that's what I'm going to do. All right, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't already, go check out my other channels. Oh, actually, real quick at the end. This weekend, my daughter, my wife, and I all went, we did a little painting class, and uh, we all painted the same picture, and we put it up on my KK and her dad open stuff uh, channel. You get to vote who painted it the best. So if you, if you haven't seen that video, if you're not subscribed to that channel, it's just a fun little thing that my daughter and I do together. Uh, go check out, it's a short, so you gotta go check that out, and you can vote for which one of us painted it the best. You don't know who did which one, but you can vote and uh, get some bragging rights going. I'm not sure who's winning right now, but uh, yeah, you can check that video and find out. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.